what is one way that we can develop feelings of gratitude? This week, the Torah opens with the mitzvah of Bikur. A person was required that upon the ripening of the fruit of the land of Israel, he or she would bring a selection of those fruits to Jerusalem and present them to the Kohen. Upon reaching Jerusalem, a verbal declaration, declaration was recited that began with the words, Arami Obed Abi. This declaration is familiar to us. It has made its way into the Gada that we read every year on Passover at the Seder. It goes something like this. My forefather, Jacob, was almost killed by his uncle Laban. Eventually, with his entire family, he made his way to Egypt. There too, they suffered terribly at the hands of the Egyptians. Finally, you, Hashem, in your infinite wisdom, removed us from the land of Israel, from the land of Egypt, and took us to the land of Israel, where there's an abundance of delicious fruit that we could enjoy. And now, I'm presenting to the Kohen a selection of those fruit as a token of my appreciation. We can ask a basic question. Wouldn't a simple thank you have sufficed? Why was it necessary to recall the exodus and the entrance into the land of Israel? The answer is as follows. It is difficult to us, perhaps, it is difficult for human beings to have gratitude. A way that we could improve on our feelings of gratitude is to not just merely focus on that which we have and that which we are enjoying, but rather to contemplate the overall effort and the lengthy process that, what, that was involved in allowing us to enjoy what we have. Of Shlomo Wobe teaches that if we want to enjoy the food that we eat, it is worthwhile to contemplate for a few moments the effort that was involved in producing those fruits. Six months ago, there was some farmer in New York that, harvest, that, that plowed his field. He then fertilized and he planted seeds. And every day, he watered the field. Eventually, they sprouted and he harvested the fruit and he brought them to his warehouse. And from his weareha- warehouse, he shipped them to Shaw's. And upon arrival at Shaw's, a worker from Shaw's took, took those fruit and placed them in the produce aisle. And then my wife, during her very hectic schedule, went with our two children to Shaw's and stood there and picked out the firmest fruit, and the, firm, the, the, the firmest vegetables in the bunch. She waited on, on a long line to pay. She schlepped home the fruits and vegetables along with all the other heavy groceries. When she reached home, she cut them up, put them in a salad, made my my favorite dressing, and put it on the dinner table for all of us to enjoy. And that's just for fruits and vegetables. Imagine a homemade cake, buying all the ingredients, mixing all the ingredients ingredients together. What a pachka! Yes, if I think about the cake, I'll be out of gratitude. Of appreciation, but if, if I contemplate all the effort and the, the, the lengthy process that was involved in bringing me those tomatoes, when there were, if I was involved in that, in that cake, my appreciation will be more heartfelt. We must go back to the roots. So, with all my heart and soul, let me honor you. Gentle people with a faith of steel You teach the world how to live and how to give and how to believe If I could look into your heart I would see the face of God You have weathered all the storm The evil come and gone 